welcome to the Mile High Skill Modeler channel. In this episode, we are on the eastern slope of the Rockies in Colorado and are going to take you along for a ride as I hunt for model kits and cool stuff here at the Willowstone Antique Marketplace. Let's go inside and see what they have. Many of these signs were only $12.99. They were new repops but very cool for the man cave, model room, or the garage. I didn't expect to see a McDonald's sign, but here one was. There was also some cool beer and neon lights throughout this venue that you will see in this video. scrapbook stuff. If you don't know about scrapbooking, this stuff is gold for making simulated Mexican blankets, fabric patterns for seats, and even if you find the right texture, it can work for a bed liner or a tonneau cover to give some texture to. So many patterns and cool ideas can come out of this stuff. Check out Tim over at Throttle Power where he shows you how he uses scrapbook paper to make a Mexican blanket on one of his recent builds. I remember seeing these lager style beer steins in my grandparents' house. These are always cool to find, especially a collection this big and so diverse. This was a cool picture of the Thunderbirds Air Show. I recently produced a video of the full air show from the recent Air Force Academy graduation. You can see it by clicking the link on the top right corner of your screen. We found our first model kit. 
an AMT 62 Buick. I'm not sure if this is a repop or an older style box. If you know based on what I show if this is a repop or not, let me know in the comments below. Ah, the body is painted and it's a decent rattle can paint job at that. Looks like everything is here for a complete kit, including testers tube glue. Did you know testers jacked up their prices by 40% on all their products? Do you think Testers is a dying brand now with the insane prices of all their product in order for rust to start making a better return on their investment? Walking by the register on my way to the other side of the building, I came across these cool Coca-Cola products. Definitely out of my price range, but very cool for the antique collector. This retro Coca-Cola vending machine is nicely restored. Looks to be all authentic parts on this as well. $6,000 isn't a bad price, but definitely not what I'm looking for today. I finally found more model kits. All model kits are 40% off from this seller. Let's take a look at what model kits the seller has and the pricing.
come back for the 237 Fords, but nothing here really is calling my name. Let's keep looking on. This is cool. A barbecue grill in the form of a Dr. Pepper can. This is very cool looking. Definitely is eye candy for you and me to see, but I had to share it with you all. This was definitely something I was not expecting to see or even knew existed. An antique ball just isn't the same without an antique tub filled with Scrabble letters. It's always fun to go antiquing because you never know what you're going to find. Here is another seller's area I found that had some cool signs, license plates, Hot Wheels, and some other cool things as well. This little area here was cool as it had repop signs that looked old up until you touched them and they were completely smooth. This is still very cool for the man cave, garage, or your modeling area. I definitely have to snag a few of these.
Here is another section that had die casts, retro toys, action figures, and retro games. I collect and build models, but I also collect many things that interest me outside of this modeling hobby. What are some other hobbies that you have that you collect for? Let me know in the comment section below. These were some cool lanterns and Lionel trains. Very cool boxes for these trains especially. I used to collect HO trains when I was a kid and maybe one day I'll get back into that and weather trains as well. Some cool figures and Pez items were here in these display cases. The Betty Boot Pez you will see I thought was really cool as it brings back memories of me watching Betty Boop black and white with my grandmother who unfortunately has since passed. While waiting in line to check out, I saw this authentic British phone booth. It was so cool to see something from England here in the States and right in front of me. So many people use this phone booth when it was active. And just think of any British movie star or famous person that could have taken a call in this booth for a gig that made them famous and when they took that call, they didn't know it then. Thank you for being a part of my antiquing journey here today as I shown you all that interested me and thought was interesting to find in this antique mall. I unfortunately found out when I was at the checkout that this antique mall is ceasing operation at the end of June. It's sad to finally find a place like this and know it will be closed down indefinitely in just a month's time. 
Well, I look forward to seeing you all at my next video. Happy modeling and antiquing.